around the world. He came I, I, in with this record. I'll come right to I'll come right to it. I'll be yeah, sure. He, yeah, you May of nineteen May of nineteen eighty eight. May of nineteen eighty eight. Okay. Heavy D had a studio session. I'll be sure was Eddie S friend and Heavy's friend and he was just he was like a roadie. He wanted to learn uh how to produce and so forth. So right. one day Hev missed his studio time for uh the big time album. Right. And I'll be sure was there and he said, Well, Andre, if you're gonna uh, have to pay for it, can I use it? Right. And he was right. I had to pay for it. I said, Yeah, you might as well use it. I saw him running around. I knew he was trying to do something, but I didn't know he was trying to do this. So when he did it, he bought it to me the next day and played it for me. And it was uh on up it was it was um was Off it, on your own girl? Right. It was this, on, this yeah. record right here? Yes. Yep. That's right. And I couldn't believe he did this. And then when he started singing, I had no idea he, he was a singer. I didn't know what he did. He was just light skinned, had good he hair. Was just, he was their friend. He was a uh, light skinned with a good haircut. Right. <laughs> He's not going to hurt nothing being around. So right. when, he, when he did that record, um, MCA was not viewing me yet as a label. They were viewing me as. You know, I got one artist that did well. Focus on that, Andre, because I'm young. They're like, focus on that. So I took I'll Be Sure to Benny Medina over at Warner Brothers Records. Right. And I knew, I knew that Benny Medina was going to like I'll Be Sure. Wow. All right, because Warner Brothers was more of like, they didn't have no street, street guys. They had, you know, polished people, Al Jarreau or somebody. Yeah, Prince yeah. Was more of a rock guy. Yeah. So I knew I'll Be Sure could come and be good. So Al... I, Al, Benny flew Al and I out there. One meeting, it was done. And, and, and Benny was on point. Benny took Al and introduced him to Quincy Jones. Um, and this was, when, this was when Quincy Jones was doing um, the Fresh Prince show. Oh, right. right? So, so um, Quincy said, all right, you're going to be the Sony Innovator. Now, right. back then, when they said Sony Innovator Award, you, and they put Quincy Jones attached to it. Um, it was old. You know, it was like a Grammy. Like, yeah. you never heard of it before, but my, is, is Quincy Jones after Thriller? Oh, this must be the highest level of artistic excellence. And we ran with that. Right. And introduced him all over the country as, as the Sony innovator Quincy Jones wow. picked this year. Wow. So he had a vibe. He, like, I already had Heavy D hitting, and, and, and that was one energy level up in terms of being in the music business. Right. Uh, but when I hit with Al B. Shaw, he took me to different heights. Yeah, he took me to charts. Hollywood. I, I think the debut album hit the charts at like number seven, which was kind of a big deal for R&B back in those and, days. And, and he took my, my Harlem game and turned it into Hollywood. It went Harlem Hollywood with him because they wanted him at all the right places. Hip hop wasn't always invited to all the right places. No, I'll be sure this light skin boy with the curls, He's, he's at the right, right, right spot all the time. Let, let me say.